I am here to talk about service provider Wi-Fi deployments using Radius Proxy implementation. With network traffic growing exponentially, service providers have to manage their network to meet customer demands. Wi-Fi deployments are a norm in enterprises. But service provider Wi-Fi deployments will extend the power of Wi-Fi beyond enterprises and provide Wi-Fi connectivity throughout a city or community. With service provider Wi-Fi, service providers can use Wi-Fi to offload mobile data, provide new and personalized mobile services, improve accessibility, enhance security, and simplify network operations. Basically, make the Wi-Fi experience similar to the cellular experience. A wireless subscriber in a service provider Wi-Fi network can be authenticated using either the EAP authentication method or the web authentication method. We will first discuss the EAP authentication method. Now let's try and understand how a mobile user connects to the service provider Wi-Fi using the EAP authentication method. When a wireless subscriber tries to access an available network for the first time, an EAP request is sent to the wireless LAN controller to the access point deployed at that spot. The wireless LAN controller terminates the request and sends a radius access request with EAP attributes to the ISG. The ISG creates a user session based on the authentication request before forwarding the Radius request to the Radius server for authentication. Once the user credentials are authenticated by the Radius server, the Radius server sends a Radius access accept request to the ISG. The ISG forwards this request to the user via the access point. It is important to note that this Radius proxy session does not have an IP address at this stage. This is because EAP typically runs directly over data link layers without requiring an IP address. Once the client is authenticated, the mobile device sends a DHCP request to the wireless LAN controller requesting for an IP address. The wireless LAN controller assigns an IP address to the session and sends a Redis accounting start request to the ISG. This request includes the client MAC address and the IP address assigned to the client. The ISG forwards the accounting start request to the Radius server. The Radius server in turn sends an accounting response to the ISG which the ISG forwards to the wireless LAN controller. The ISG also associates this IP address with the ISG session. The user is now on the network and can access the internet through the Radius proxy session created on ISG. When the user terminates the session, the wireless LAN controller sends an accounting stop request to the ISG. On receiving the accounting stop request, the ISG clears the Radius proxy session and forwards the accounting stop request to the Radius server. The Radius server sends the accounting stop response to the ISG and the ISG forwards the response to the wireless LAN controller. The session is then terminated.